today we are making the ghost kadai, the lamb kadai. This is the Pakistani style. So far we have like a enough oil and some hot spices like a pepper corn, cloves, bay leaves. We have some red chili and we did put some uh, fresh green chilies also inside. Some, some ginger, fennel, coriander seed. And we're sorting this lamb for almost 15 to 20 minutes. They are nicely seared. And now we have some here brown onion and some cilantro stems, some uh, julian ginger. I have some ginger garlic paste and also I got some fresh tomatoes here. So we're gonna start here with the ginger garlic paste. Right. Now what we're gonna do is add some julian ginger here again. I like ginger more so if you don't like ginger you can put less. I got some brown in here. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a just okay. like a wok, we have the iron wok, uh, but if you don't have this kind of wok, you can use in the, any kind of pan. No problem. It's gonna be very delicious, guys. Yeah. We are going to cook a very simple way, not very complicated. So all you need like ginger, garlic, onion, tomato, that's it. And some spices of course. <clears throat> we are going to start with a... Today I am in a mood for a little bit hard side. So I am going to add a little bit more chili powder here. You can see it's the red chili powder. Also I also put the fresh chilies here. Some red dry chilies as well in there. So I am going to start the cumin powder here, one spoon, I'm going to do coriander powder here, a uh, little bit more coriander powder, okay. and I have some garam masala here, more garam masala here, of course you need to put some turmeric powder here. We're gonna add some salt and we're gonna give it a stir. Nice. So, yeah. Okay. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And so far. It's we are cooking uh, till now on the high flame. So no slow flame so far. In the high flame, I'm gonna put some cilantro stems and some fresh tomato chops. And we're gonna give this stir. another 15 20 minutes depend uh, depending on the size so these lambs i cut in the very small small pieces guys you see that very very small small pieces so that i can cook a little faster but where you have the big chunks maybe you're gonna cook a little bit longer but if you have a small chunk depending on this, how the big size you have so it's pretty simple. We're gonna 
eat this with the bread or rice and side of the lentil oh it's gonna be amazing guys it's already cooked but i want to cook a little bit more tender so it's almost ready you guys can see that so i'm gonna wait until these tomatoes these chunk of tomatoes a little bit melt down so it will be create a little bit like a gravy little bit sauce so so wait for 10 15 minutes and it's all ready thank you for watching guys see you later on the curry station are almost they are melting down so they are gonna create the nice gravy here if you guys want some water you can add the water uh, just like a few drops uh, not too much not too much not too much just a little bit so that it fitting like it's getting too dry and about to burn so you can add a little bit of water but I think you don't need right way you don't need like a really water here the tomatoes they're gonna release their water so so you can turn down the your fire Look at this, look at the gravy guys, it looks so delicious, it looks so delicious. Mm. I mean for the restaurant we reduce a little bit of fat. Uh, it, it has a little bit fat in here because I gonna eat at this one today I am in like a very very authentic way and if but if you want to cater for your home for your parties you want to this kind of food spicy and if you don't mind the then you can contact me directly and I'm Narendra so ask for me we'll cook as you need it however you like it and in a buffet we have like a food like mild to medium but if you order from the menu and however you want like a spicy uh, mild or medium make according to your choice so as i said look at this the tomatoes are melting down and they're creating nice gravy here so it's my lunch today is going to be very tasty. Let me turn it off to heat. Mm, look at this. That's so yummy. Thank you very much for watching. See you at Curry Station. Have a good day.